Hey everybody, it's Man Bear Moose, and today I am back with another Clash of Clans video, and today I'm going to be covering the war that just ended. And let's take a look at it. So as the clouds clear, we realize that we were victorious. Clan Man Bear Moose has had its third victory of four wars. Uh, the last war we had, uh, they must have done an update afterwards, and all of the replays seem to go away faster than I can make the video, and so I apologize for that, but... This one was another win. So let's just take a look at the map here so we can see exactly what happened. And I'd like to say that when this war first started, man, it was a scary one. Let's go to the enemy side over here. We can see exactly what we were up against. Two Town Hall 10s at the top. This one was a Town Hall 9. This one was a Town Hall 10. And that one was scary. So three Town Hall 10s. To opposed to our two Town Hall 9s. And we had a couple Town Hall 9s in there. That was a Town Hall 9. This was a Town Hall 9. I think that was a Town Hall 8. And then it went down slowly after that. With Town Hall 7s. And then, well, who knows what these are. Because they're all destroyed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple... We're going to look at a couple defense replays here. And I got to hand it to Annie. Uh, or our base Annie that uh, Annie donated some awesome troops. I think she put, or I, actually, I, t I talked with Annie the other day. Annie's a, a Annie, Annie's a guy, so I'm sorry if I called you she so many times, but it was just your name and all that other stuff. And so, yeah, Annie, thank you, dude, for helping us out. I'm not sure exactly what your real name is because you hadn't told me your real name yet. But, yeah, we had a few uh, defends. I thought it was pretty cool. Let's check down here. Let's let's look at this base here. What we're going to do is we're going to put it into, like, kind of uh, kind of ultra-fast mode. If my computer can just keep up with me at the moment, we can put it in ultra-fast mode. As you see, there's a witch inside of the clan castle. And uh, though they tried, they failed to actually penetrate the base and get any stars whatsoever I think it was 40 oh no there was one star oh that's right one star on this one here though this was I think our second to lowest base and so I think that it was a win though we only gave up one star but that's okay because that's how it goes and let's look at a couple of the fails that happened on the top side um, let's see yeah another zero stars on this one here as you can see leading off with a couple bomb breakers and and whatnot let's just fast forward it you can see the witch come out and spawn a bunch of these little stuff or others man come on computer work with me <sighs> for the little time that we have left with this computer and as you see Skeletons keep on getting spawned in as they keep dying, and the other, the, or the attacker had no, no chance in getting the victory there. 41%, a really great uh, defense on that one. Sorry, I, my computer is just distracting me so much that it's hard for me to commentate knowing the fact that it could not even be recording at all. It seems that if I put it into super fast mode, it has the biggest problem with this one here. And so I'll just do times two, see what happens. And uh, yeah, so what happens is uh, that they try and they probably shit their pants, like, you know, seeing that witch in there. They throw out a dragon, though that doesn't help very much. Or it did, I guess, a little bit, but the dragon was almost dead by the time it even hit the... Uh, now I'm looking at my computer and it's like, stopped. Man, you suck, computer. You know, I wonder if there's another way of doing this. Let's try this again. God damn, man. How many times do I got to commentate this thing here? This is like the fourth time I've tried to do this. So you know what? Let's just keep on going to see if that actually is the way to go and and whatnot. It seems that when I when I show replays, it, it really seems to be the worst. And so let's, uh, let's just look at a few of our uh, replays here so that... Um, my computer isn't uh, going so crazy. Now this one here I thought was a super awesome attack and I was just so surprised because I mean when you, when you start thinking like of what's going to happen especially when a Town Hall 9 goes up against a Town Hall 10 there 
you have to understand that they are probably biting off more than they can chew to begin with. And the fact that the fact that you can get one star is good. The fact if you get two stars, then that's amazing. But the cool thing was was that this one here, it seemed like it didn't even have much of a chance. Balloons, they are not the fastest things in the world, but man, are they powerful little suckers. And they can just do so much damage. And then, of course, with minions behind them, um, it, it's just a, an attack that a attack strategy that it just, I mean, it works really well. The walls don't even come into play. And a three-star Firebase Annie which I still don't know your real name, man. <laughs> so let's look at a couple other ones here. Let's see, I attack this one. I wonder if we can just like super fast forward this one here because I use my mass dragon attack, which I always am a big fan of the, the dragons. And I try to get rid of as many buildings as I possibly could and the air defense on the top while I totally misclicked the uh, rage spells and the heal spells, but I think that heal spell actually really did come into play there. Put down the clan castle because my dragons were going some crazy, so that uh, that dragon actually, I think, saved this raid. Um, and uh, yeah, got the king in there showing off its ability. I just got him up to level five, so that's super cool. Three starred that base, and I also think I three starred the next base here too, yeah. Another dragon attack, but that one wasn't as cool. Let's just start down here at the bottom, because I got to tell you, there was some pretty cool ones um, down here. Oh, yeah, this one here actually was a nail biter, and really great job leading out the clan castle. That w that literally, I think, saved this entire raid, even though they, had, they put giants in their clan castle. I have no idea why you would want to do that. For defense, giants are not necessarily the best to have there. Um, and, but yet, I don't know, man, they, maybe they were thinking, oh, it could be good distraction, but yeah, not, not <laughs> too low or not enough, you know, not, not enough of a distraction to, to, uh, to distract the troops enough to win. And so, yeah, as, uh, as this was going by, I saw that this cannon over here was, was eaten away at the, at the barbarians. And I just was just like, okay, this could go either way at this point. But then I thought, okay, wait, he hasn't put down the clan castle yet. And so there still might be hope, especially because there's only that one little cannon there. So it takes out two, two, uh, two wizards come down and a couple of archers and the archers distracted enough for the, for the wizards to take out the cannon. And at that point it was all over and they just cleaned up after that. Well, it seems like my computer seems to be okay when I zoom in. It's when I, it's when it's like it has uh, it's at its full, like when I zoom all the way out, that it's not so good. Anyway, so let's actually just kind of go up through some of these uh, bases here. Um, let's check out this one here. Uh, this was Anna E. Actually, well, this is the Anna E base, but uh, it was me attacking. And so what I did is I just threw down a barbarian because I was trying to get out the clan castle, realizing that no one had donated to this clan. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. So I threw down the giants to distract and tried to bust through the wall, which uh, uh, one wall breaker wasn't enough, but that was okay. Um, and uh, as long as that mortar went down and the... Uh, and the wizard tower went down, everything was just fine, which that wizard tower is completely distracted. Um, and so I threw down two more wall breakers, a whole bunch more um, barbarians, and just started picking away at these buildings over here. And then throw in some goblins to get rid of th some of these buildings because they just tear through the, the resources really quickly. And they can take, uh, well, they can't take as many hits as the barbarians can, but they can, uh, they can take more hits than the archers can. And so I, uh, I just wanted to clear out those buildings really quickly so that they can get to the, the defenses as fast as possible. There goes a bunch of archers. <laughs> uh, and all I need to do is get this cannon down. It looks like we have enough troops to make that actually happen. And then, yeah, just cleaning up the rest of the stuff and getting that last builder's hut, and boom, a three-star victory. It's always important to take out the clan castle first. Unfortunately, they forgot to donate to this one here and whatnot so let's just check out uh, a few more of these ones here 
Let's get it. We're getting getting up to the two star ones here. So let's uh, let's let's say check out Ob Hector one hundred and one, and see what he did in order to make this a victory. Let's see where did he start? Oh, he started picking off the buildings on the side, which was a good idea. Let's try not and keep all the way out. So yeah, let's put on times two so that it doesn't take forever. Which I, I gotta I gotta say when 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 you're picking off buildings on the side, put one or two on there, but don't forget that the the clock is ticking because I've spent time and I've seen other people do this too, but I've spent a little bit too much time picking off the buildings on the outside, realizing that that is not gonna save anything. That it's better to pick off the buildings on the outside and then immediately go in for the attack. Now these wizards they're gonna cause a huge problem and they need to be taken out immediately and watch how these those giants just disappear and so they need to be taken out before anything else does and, and now that these wizards are the only thing that are left in the dragons now I think the dragons are what really made this possible because without without the dragons and then of course the dragon in the clan castle I'm not sure if this one would have been uh, as successful <laughs> as, as as it was and and whatnot. So, yeah, the most important thing is to take out the air defense because the air defenses are so important to be uh, taken out. And that heal spell was a really good idea. It, ca it gave a little bit of extra time for the dragons to uh, to get what they want. And for some reason, it ended there, and I think that meant that the time was up. <clears throat> so a little bit too much time spent on the other side, but we got the two stars, so everything was cool on that one. Let's see. Dabab Fada. <laughs> With the attack um, of, uh, of this base here. <clears throat> it was This one was a tough one. It was a hard one to do. Those, uh, those wizards, they really do. They, they are really good. <laughs> Unfortunately, he couldn't take him out with a lightning spell. He couldn't take him out with a lightning spell, but he surrounded them with archers, and he did a really good job here because they, they could only take out one archer at a time or each take out one archer. And um, they, when you group them up together, then it's just it, they can just all go with one hit, and that is not a good idea. And so let's just see the rest of his attack here. And once again, I think he waited a little too long on this attack to actually attack. He's picking off buildings um, a little little by little. And then he goes for his full-on attack. And his Barbarian King goes down. I'm sure he, uh, he did that to... Um, to kind of take a little bit of the damage. Threw down a Rage spell and a Heal spell. Though I think that was a little preemptive. Um, should have waited until um, they were inside the base because right now I think that the rage spell and the heal spell m may have done a lot more damage going towards the center. But let's just speed this up here or else we're going to have another 30 minute video. And man, that takes forever to upload. <laughs> and so, yeah, here he is. He's going for after the town hall. Those two wizards right here, they're just working out and working their way through that. He, he, he gets the town hall 64% at the moment. And then, yep, that's about it. There's one little archer here. Let's see if this archer can make it. Do you think he could make it? Well, maybe he can get through that army camp. And then it's over. 66%. <laughs> it was a good two star. He was definitely biting off a little bit more. And he could chew on that one. A town hall seven trying to, on, uh, trying to take on a town hall eight and so there was only so much he could do and so let's let's check this one out here this is um this is big bus the seventh uh he's a town hall eight taking on town hall seven and let's just we're just watching a three star here now see clan castles go down and if we actually back this up let, let's actually watch this watch this in the beginning and let's see well i mean if he wasn't a Town Hall 8, he may have had a huge problem here. If he was a Town Hall 7, this actually might have gone a little bit to, uh, in the wrong direction. He throws down an archer on top and an archer over here, and he has no idea what's in this clan castle. As we saw just a moment ago, there are five wizards in that clan castle, and they seem to split up, which is not a good thing. 
and he is trying to take him out, but unfortunately, they have already kind of come out. And so if he had not had those, maybe those extra spots or the fact that he has level um, five wiz uh, uh, archers and barbarians, then that could have been a huge problem. And there's still one wizard left, and that could have also been a huge problem. But I think he got a little lucky there. He should have um, uh, lured out the clan castle and then taken them over to to this uh, builder's hut over there to get them way out of the way. And when, as you can see, one of the wizards is still running around terrorizing his stuff. But because uh, Big Bus, he is a very talented um, attacker. He he knows what he's doing. Um, though if he wasn't, then uh, those those uh, clan castle troops would have been quite quite hard to deal with. He had a dragon in his clan castle. It seems to be kind of just taking things out. I don't think there's any air defense. Well, there's one air defense that starts to shoot it down, but they get him down. <laughs> but it goes down, but while the uh, dragon still has half of his health. And as you can see now, there's basically no more defenses left. And this is pretty much a done deal. And there it goes. A three star. But let's see. Let's see what happens when a town hall, um, a town hall eight goes up against a town hall nine with the same attack strategy. This is once again big bust. And this wasn't so much of a fail because this is a town hall nine. Now it's a very under leveled town hall nine, but. We're going to see exactly what's going to happen here because I don't really remember. See, now, <clears throat> he takes out the clank, uh, uh, out the builder's hut on the side, and let's just see, that's, wow, that's a couple badass troops that are in here. And watch these wizards. They just take out these barbarians so quickly, and this was actually quite, quite bad. And the fact that all of his troops seem to be kind of grouping up at the moment, ooh, and... And then Mortar is just like destroying troops. But um, his heal spells, really good uh, or nicely placed. These uh, barbarians that are taking hits are getting healed immediately. Though if the archers take any hits from those... Ooh. The archers take hits from any of the, the mortars, then they are gone because those mortars are just doing some massive damage. The dragon getting targeted by the air defense is not going to last long unless it can target the air defense right now. And it seems to be on the air defense, but is it going to be too late? Oh, not enough. And it would have been really cool if we, he got two stars here, but there is just a few troops left. 47%. Oh, that was a close one. Now, if he if he got two stars here, which if, um, let's see. I don't know if he could have just picked off a few buildings here. If he hadn't had that, though, uh, he was trying to bite off once again a little bit more, and he could chew on that one here. But still, he got the one star. He went in, got the town hall. It was a real shame that he just missed that one there, and and whatnot. Now, I, I think I already showed you uh, Annie's attack from before, because this is like the fourth time I've done this recording, and let's just see Annie's other attack. Once again, a lot of balloons coming in all at once. Great uh, place rage spells, though. They overlapped, and I really uh, really hate it when they overlap like that. Heal spell, which I think actually saved the troops for quite a while. The crossbows are pointed up, and they're just eating their way through those, uh, those minions. But he gets the town hall, gets the 50%, and that's all that he can ask for because... Yeah, the three star was pretty far away, so and he ended it early, <clears throat> taking his two stars, and yeah. So that was the war. Sorry if I didn't get around to showing your. Um, oh, actually, one more thing before we, we we go we go to this. Let's watch the most heroic defense and the most heroic attack. Now hold on, this the the Bob Fada, We already saw that, and that was the most heroic attack. Um, once again, a Town Hall 7 going up a town to a Town Hall 9, but let's watch the most heroic defense with Game Master. And he's designed this base himself. It's a little different than his regular base, but yeah, as you see, the clan castles, are, uh, troops have been lured out, and that witch is just spawning all those little skeletons. A uh, lightning spell going down, not really destroying anything. 
which was uh, a real shame, I guess, on his part. <laughs> Dragon goes down, and a bunch of uh, or a healer and a bunch of uh, wizards, another two dragons, and a level four dragon coming out of the clan castle. Some balloons coming down, and uh, actually, I don't really remember this one here. But as you see, this air defense is just what is what clutches it for him. That uh, level four dragon doesn't stand a chance on uh, on air defenses. Now, if that air defense was upgraded, it would have just completely wiped through it. But I guess it was enough to do that. Twenty eight percent, great, uh, great defense on his part. His base now is like a complete giant trap. If you go, if you go in, uh, or you're trying to attack his base, it's just. Um, it's just, uh, it's really funny that it's just, it just like disappears. Like, I mean, the giant healer, giants just go flying everywhere. Anyway, so that was the, uh, that, that was the, um, the, the war. It was a pretty cool one. We only got one, one star, two, four, uh, four, two stars and 13, three stars. And I got to tell you what won it for us on this one here was our lower bases. If you can look at this, it's three star, three star, three star, three star, three star, all the way up until we get finally to the town hall eights and town, uh, town hall, really hardcore town hall sevens and town hall eights. And then we have a bunch more three stars and then we get up to the town hall nines and town hall tens and, um, yeah, and Steven was the only one that wasn't a, a, that that didn't get attacked. He attacked me, only got two stars. I'm two bases below him. What the heck, man? You can't take on two town halls below you. Some of your other people did. It was funny because some of them like uh, attacked some of of the lower bases. Like like this is a town hall like six, and that was a town hall seven or eight that attacked that one there. And uh, yeah, man, we had they they weren't really the organized of clans and i think it was our communication and our organization that made this one a win and and yeah that was it all around was a great one great job guys and uh great job on the war sorry if this was a little disorganized i've this is like my fourth time recording this one here my computer has just been like i don't want to do it but that's okay i'm going to be getting a new computer soon hopefully and uh yeah i am because uh, next week i'm going to be going to the to the states um, flying all the way back to California, a friend of mine's getting married and we're going to have a nice, uh, nice time visiting my, my, uh, my home. And it's been a while since I've been there, about two and a half years. So, uh, it's going to be nice to be in sunny California and sunny San Francisco. Hopefully the fog doesn't come in and whatnot. And I'm going to be picking up a new computer and that new computer is going to be a beast of a computer because the prices in America are just so good. I can't pass it up, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Look, I got a gem box. What am I going to do with a gem box? Anyway, so that will be it for today's video. Great job on the war for you guys who, uh, um, yeah, who, who participated. It was absolutely great. Once again, my name is Man Bear Moose. Thanks again for watching. Great job on the war for the fourth time. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want... Uh, if you if you want more base reviews, just let me know. But it's going to be a little while before I can make a, the next video because I'm going to be traveling, and uh, well, maybe I'll make a new video with my with my new computer. But I'm not sure if I'm going to bring my microphone. So yeah, I think uh, I think the next time I'm going to make a video is when I'm going to be sitting right here with a uh, with all after after this trip is over. Cause uh, yeah, I'm going to a wedding and that's going to be kind of crazy. And I don't know, man. He's the first of us to get married. Yeah, I'm going to a childhood friend, me and, uh, I mean, I, I kind of grew up with him uh, in high school. We we were best friends. We were always hanging out all the time, and now he's getting married. Crazy, mind blown, makes me feel old. Oh, man, getting old. Maybe I should play more video games to make myself feel younger again. All right, guys, that, that will be it. And uh, once again, my name is Man Bear Moose, and thank you for watching. See you guys next time.